Are you having trouble with precise position play? Well, if you are, this video is for you. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. I want to give a quick thank you to all you guys who recently subscribed to my channel. I appreciate that big time. Hey, today I want to show you something. This is something that I do for my game and that I want to learn how to really have precise position play. And this exercise right here is going to teach you a lot. You're going to realize that you don't have to really move the Q-tip very much on the cue ball to create a big difference when you're going from one end of the table to the other on your position play. So without further ado, let's check it out. What I do is I use a systematic approach to gain knowledge on how much English I need to use on my cue ball so that I will not scratch and that I can gain position on the nine ball that you see down table there. So these first two shots I'm showing you are the end result of what I should be able to do once I've gained that knowledge. So I'm just going to show you these. There's a couple different ways I can get after this eight. You see there I started on the one side and then I moved to the other side. And also there's a couple ways I can get to that nine ball as well. And you're going to see that in my practice session coming up. Now, before I uh, get into this, let me explain. The first thing I do, I call it a systematic approach because the first thing I do is I put paper on the table and I only shoot to the first piece of paper until I'm very comfortable that I can uh, gain position there consistently. And I'll shoot several shots here before I move on to shooting the eight to get to the nine. This is a uh, uh, step one of the process. This is mainly to get speed and just understand how much table speed we have here. Now, step two is to get it back down table towards the nine without scratching, <laughs> which we did. But that's a good thing because now I know if I just change my tip position just slightly, I can avoid the scratch and make, make it to the paper. Now another thing too, that's just coming straight down table. I can actually go into the side rail as well and you'll see that here because I have the knowledge of where the scratch is and I know how to move my cue, uh, cue tip on the cue ball. It's a wonderful way to do it you guys. Uh, it doesn't overwhelm you. You know you start out with your first piece of paper until you're comfortable then you move to the second and then ultimately step three. And now we're gonna shoot the whole shot. We're gonna go from one paper to the other and we're actually even gonna shoot in the nine. So it's a completion of this entire layout. And I'll shoot that several times until I'm very comfortable. So now we, we, we feel good about that. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on and we're gonna put the paper to the other side of the eight ball and it's gonna be a bit of a, a, more of a stroke type situation coming up and you're gonna see that here in a minute once I pocket this nine. Okay, so now we've gotta stroke it past that eight ball without hitting the eight. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can come straight across table and you're gonna see that here in the first shot. It's all about speed. It's kind of a stun. Now the next one, I've put some spin on it and I'm coming off the bottom two corner rails there to gain position to the paper. Once again, that's the stun off the side rail. And here we've added a little spin. This is tricky though, because we come very close to the eight, but this is good because then we know what we can get away with. And in fact, you're gonna see that I clip the eight ball right there. I still get away with it, but we don't wanna put that much inside spin or we're gonna run into the eight in this situation. Once again, we keep shooting. This is step one, right? Step one, okay, now step two, after this one here, 
That one there was perfect. Now we're going to step two. And see how close I came to that side pocket? That's another scratch that we have to avoid. So I, I put that in my memory bank knowing that if I put that kind of spin on the cue ball, it's likely that I could scratch in that side pocket. Made an adjustment there and you see I went right on down there close to the uh, uh, middle of that rail. And here I've adjusted quite a bit. I'm just going one shot right straight down table to get on that paper. Not going to risk that side pocket. Now here, what I've done is I'm going, and you'll see there I scratch. Once again, I know now what not to do. So I'm actually going one, two, and actually three rails to get on that nine. But this is just a, a great way to practice, you guys. I hope this helps you. Give it a try. Do it in three steps. It won't overwhelm you, and you're going to get a good feel for the shot, and you're going to gain knowledge on the English that you need to put on the cue ball. Just a reminder too, please hit the like button and also if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. I've got more video that I want to show you to help you in your game. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep on practicing.